After getting relieved by other officers in the crypt, I took off running upstairs towards the speaker's lobby and helped a plainclothes officer who was getting hassled by insurrectionists. Some of them were dressed like members of a militia group, wearing tactical vests, cargo pants, and body armor. I was physically exhausted and it was hard to breathe and to see because of all the chemical spray in the air. More and more insurrectionists were pouring into the area by the speaker's lobby near the rotunda and some wearing MAGA hats and shirts that said Trump 2020. I told them to just leave the Capitol and in response they yelled, no man, this is our house. President Trump invited us here. We're here to stop the steal. Joe Biden is not the president. Nobody voted for Joe Biden. I'm a law enforcement officer, and I do my best to keep politics out of my job. But in this circumstance, I responded, well, I voted for Joe Biden. Does my vote not count? Am I nobody? That prompted a torrent of racial epithets. One woman in a pink MAGA shirt yelled, you hear that, guys? This nigger voted for Joe Biden. Then the crowd, perhaps around 20 people, joined in screaming, boo, fucking nigger. No one had ever, ever called me a nigger while wearing the uniform of a Capitol Police officer. In the days following the attempted insurrection, other black officers shared with me their own stories of racial abuse on January 6th. One officer told me he had never and in his, his entire 40 years of life, he'd been called a nigger to his face, and that streak ended on January 6th. Yet another black officer later told me he had been cr confronted by insurrectionists in the Capitol who told him, put your gun down and we'll show you what kind of nigger you really are. To be candid, the rest of the afternoon is a blur but I know I went throughout the Capitol to assist officers who needed aid and help expel more insurrectionists. In the crypt, I encountered Sergeant Gunnell, who was giving assistance to an unconscious woman who had been in the crowd of rioters on the west side of the Capitol. I helped to carry her to the area of the House Majority Leader's office where she was administered CPR. As the afternoon wore on, I was completely drained, both physically and emotionally and in shock and total disbelief over what had happened. Once the building was cleared, I went to the rotunda to recover with other officers and share our experiences from what happened that afternoon. Representative Rodney Davis was there offering support to officers. And when he and I saw each other, he came over and he gave me a big hug. I sat down on a bench in the rotunda with a friend of mine who was also a black Capitol Police officer, and told him about the racial slurs I endured. I became very emotional and began yelling, how the blank could something like this happen? Is this America? I began sobbing. Officers came over to console me. 